for me, being Tetla Kuchin, we are very connected to the caribou. My name is Jessica Francis. I'm from Fort McPherson and I have a sewing business called Yakai Creations. We are at the Chief Julius School in Fort McPherson for an Arts Appreciation Night. We are doing caribou hide, caribou fur, earring tufting. And you're gonna come up right through the middle. And then you're gonna go down pretty close beside it to make a loop. It's a real sense of accomplishment. You know, you'll start something and you finish it and you're like, wow, I made that. And then you're gonna take your fur and you're gonna take a sec section. Just big enough to fit through your little loop here. And then you're gonna cut it close to your skin. Some of it is really connecting because our ancestors did caribou for tufting a lot in the past. And I think that that's really great that it's coming back and getting more popular. And with this bundle here, it's gonna go through your loop. Through your loop, right about here. And then you're just gonna pull it tight, as tight as you can. Wow. And then it'll make the tuft. And you see a lot of artists using it in their own art. Mm -hmm. So I like that we we're able to share it tonight. And four new participants, four new people got to learn. And the tricky part is keeping all that pressure on the thread while also tying it. And then once that's done, then you'll take small scissors and you'll trim it. Modern tufting is done with a beaded edge around it. And that beaded edge is your guideline. But traditional tufting, like the old original tuftings, didn't have the beads around it. It was just freehand shapes. So you'll get your basic shape and then you'll trim down the body. Just slow at a time until you find a length that you like. When it's more long like this, it'll be kind of fuzzy. But once you trim it down, trim it down to a good length, it'll mean be more firm and you'll see the, you'll see all the different um, little tufts on it. Even if you think, oh, I've never beaded before, I've never made anything before, like this is the perfect opportunity to learn and you'll get somebody to show you step by step what to do. And oftentimes you get to go home with little goodie bags mm -hmm. so then you can finish on your own.